on Isaiah 61, verses 1 through 7. So if you have your Bibles with you, I would just open it up and leave it, um, leave it open throughout the set. And um, yeah, we'll be praying that the Holy Spirit would be illuminating these words, these words that are just words printed on a page, that they will come alive as we are meditating on them tonight. And if this is your first time here at K1, um, all throughout the night we'll just um, we'll be singing songs of worship, some of them familiar, some of them unfamiliar. Uh, we'll also be singing spontaneously and prophetically. So throughout the night, feel free to engage in whichever way you feel the Lord moving on you to engage in. It could be just meditating on the word, it could be um, singing along, it could be praying, it could be journaling, whichever way you feel the Lord moving on you to engage in, feel free to do that. If you feel like you just gotta dance, there's plenty of space in the back. <laughs> you can roam free, just leave that camera back there alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll open us up tonight in prayer. Uh, Lord, we thank you so much for your word that is alive and is active in our lives. We pray, God, that tonight we would come to a place not just where we sing songs that we know, not just where we read over and gloss over words that we've already read before in the Bible, but I pray, God, that tonight your spirit would encounter us here in this place, that our hearts would be open, our spirit would be open to the movement of your spirit. I pray, God, that our eyes and our ears would be open to what you want to say, what you want to speak, what you want to reveal to us tonight. I thank you, God, for our new recruit candidates here. I pray, God, that they wouldn't just be signing up for a program or going through the motions, Lord God, but I pray that you would be raising up for yourself men and women of God that know how to pray, that know how to contend in the place of prayer, that know how to engage with you, Lord God, in worship and in praise. We thank you, God, that all of this is possible only through the workings of your Holy Spirit. Amen. And I thank you, God, that you want to meet us here tonight. Yes. That we didn't just show up to an event, but we have been set up and we've been drawn in yes. to a living encounter with you, God. Yes. We thank you. We pray that tonight would really move your heart. We pray all these things in your name.
soon 
eyes on you to fix my eyes but fix my eyes on you to fix my eyes to fix my eyes on you Fix my eyes on you, God. Oh, I fix my eyes on you, God. Till you're all I desire. Till you're all that satisfies. Oh, I fix my eyes. Deep cries out to deep, oh God. 
fix my eyes on you I find you looking straight back at me as I fix my eyes on you I find you looking right
a child, as a child, I come to you. to you as a child, I come to you as a child, Papa, so put me anywhere, just put your glory in me, and I'll serve just let me see your beauty put me anywhere just put your glory in me and I'll serve anywhere just let me see your beauty put me anywhere just put your glory in me and I'll serve anywhere just let me see your beauty your glory in me and I'll serve anywhere let me see your beauty so put me anywhere just put your glory in me and I'll serve anywhere just let me see your beauty put me anywhere just put your glory in me Just let me see your beauty. 
have no love and have no love what good is it if i proclaim the year of the lord's favor and i proclaim the day of vengeance of our god and i have no
transforms my emotions. I love your ministry in me. It's you that renews my mind. It's you that conforms my will. It's you that transforms my emotions. I love your ministry in me. It's you that renews my mind. transforms my emotions I love your ministry in me it's you that renews my mind it's you that conforms my will it's you that transforms my emotions I love your ministry in me oh, how I love how I love how I love how I love your ministry Spirit, how I love, how I love, how I love, how I love your ministry in me. How I love, how I love, how I love, how I love your ministry. How I love, how I love, how I love, how I love your ministry in me. It's you 
that transforms my emotions. I love your ministry in me. For how I love, how I love, how I love, how I love your ministry. How I love, how I love, how I love, how I love your ministry. Welcome you here, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we give you our minds, we give you our hearts, we give you our souls, Holy Spirit, for only you can do what needs to be done.
your presence, fear, uh, free of burdens, God. Lord, free of fear, free of guilt or condemnation or shame. And we thank you, God, that here in your presence, there's fullness of acceptance and grace, God. We thank you so much that your mercies are new every single morning. God, great is your faithfulness, Lord. So we thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. We need to bless, we need to anoint, God, the entirety of this prayer gathering, Lord. We thank you so much, God. Amen. Okay, so right now we're going to be transitioning. We're going to be shifting into a time of intercession or a prayer. Okay, so this is a special K-1 watch uh, specifically for the new recruits training camp. So we'll be praying for topics uh, regarding you guys, new recruits, new leaders of New Philadelphia Church. So the way that this is going to work for those of you who might be joining K-1 for the first time is that I will be reading out the prayer point and then the prayer verse and then I'll be sort of declaring out a prayer. Now what I want everyone in this room to do is use my prayer as like a launching pad or a model. So as soon as I stop praying, it's like I hand the baton over to you all and then you pray respond in prayer and something that you might notice for a lot of the prayer points today it's a lot of prayers that will be lifted up in the first person so words that you're declaring over yourself as a new recruit as a new leadership candidate a lot of identity prayers I am strong in the Lord I am faithful I will persevere a lot of prayers like that so just to give you a little bit of context okay so are we good are you ready to pray let's do this Okay, so the first prayer topic for tonight is the right attitude. Having the right attitude as uh, we enter into New Recruits Training Camp. Okay, and the verse for this, as Pastor Susie had mentioned, uh, is the vision verse of New Philadelphia Church, Isaiah chapter 61. And I'll just read out verse 1. This is the attitude that we all want to have as we enter into NRTC. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. So I'll pray right now, Lord, and I'm going to pray as if I were an NRTC, okay? So Lord, thank you so much for setting me apart to go through new recruits training camp in this season. I thank you, God, that Isaiah 61 is a vision of New Philly, and I declare that I already walk out in the spirit of Isaiah 61. I thank you, God, because I have been chosen by you, and therefore your spirit is upon me. God, out of the many places that I could be in this season, you willed for me to be plugged into the New Philly community. God, you chose me to be a part of this specific leadership class. And Lord, not only am I chosen, but I declare that I have power as you have anointed me. God, the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, this is the power that lives in me as an NRTC. Nothing is impossible for me because through you, all things are possible. I declare that I am bold to testify of your goodness and to share the good news. And as I get trained up, I'll not just talk, I'll not just share, but I will preach your life-giving truth to those who are poor in spirit. And finally, God, I declare that I am a bringer of transformation. God, just as you are bringing me to greater levels of freedom in this season, God, I will likewise bring many into your marvelous freedom. So what you're going to do right now, you're going to pray over yourself that you are chosen, you have power, you are bold, and you're going to bring transformation. Let's pray together right now.
is the topic of fire. And the verse for this is from Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. It says, I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me, meaning Jesus, he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and fire. Lord, I declare that as I am rooted in you, any apathy, any lukewarmness is far away from me. God, it is your breath that is in my lungs. God, you are a passionate God, and your passion resides in me. God, I declare that in this season, my love and devotion for Jesus are reaching greater heights and depths. God, I want to be filled with your Holy I want to be filled with your Holy Spirit and with fire. I want to be filled with the same sort of love that marked all the apostles. I declare that I have been marked by the Holy Spirit. I declare that I've been marked by fire. You call me to do greater works in the name of Jesus, and you want me to start here uh, in this fire-filled house. I declare that as I grow in leadership in this house, that my fire, that my passion, that my love for Jesus will only grow brighter. So the prayer points for this, lukewarmness and apathy are far from you. Number two, your passion for Jesus will reach greater depths and heights in this season. Number three, you have been marked by Holy Spirit and with fire. Number four, your fire for Jesus will never go out. It will only increase. And not only that, you're going to set others ablaze. Let's pray right now together.
side of commitment. And for this one, I'd actually like everybody to stand to your feet if that's okay. If you're able, I'd like you to stand to your feet. Uh, the third topic is commitment. And when I think of commitment, I think of like people making a pledge. You pledge allegiance to a flag, you usually stand in honor of that commitment, okay? So I'm gonna sort of switch up the order. I'm gonna read out the Bible verse for this topic. I'm gonna list out the points. I'm gonna pray. And as soon as I finish praying, you're just gonna take the baton. You go with your prayer, okay? So topic number three is commitment. The Bible verse, James chapter one, verses two to four. Commitment, okay? Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Prayer point one, fickle, uh, fickleness and flakiness are far from me, they are not a part of me. I'm not flaky, I'm not fickle. Number two, I am a man or a woman of my word. I walk in commitment to God and to the church. Number three, I am an overcomer. Even when I'm tempted to give up, this leadership training, even when I'm tempted to give up, even when it gets really hard, I shall press on and complete this training. Number four, God is preparing me to be a strong and faithful leader, a pillar in this church community. Okay, let's, I'm going to pray first. Lord, I declare that just as I am a man or woman of fire and passion, I am also a man or woman of commitment. God, you are committed to me, and Lord, I want to be committed to you. I declare that flakiness and fickleness are far from me. I am a man or woman of my word. Lord, you have great plans for me through this leadership training, God. And thus I acknowledge that the enemy will try to attack and discourage me. But Lord, I declare right now that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I declare that the enemy is under my feet. I declare that I am an overcomer. If I am ever tempted to give up or feel overwhelmed during this training, I declare that I shall press forward, God. I shall press forward. I shall press forward. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I declare that you are preparing me to be a powerful leader and a pillar in this church community. Let's pray right now. Just declare commitment over yourself, faithfulness over yourself. Let's pray right now. It's all good, right? We almost got to the finish line. Number four is actually expectations for the upcoming church-wide retreat. Okay, the Bible verse for this, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. The prayer points for retreat expectations. Number one, uh, thanking God for this opportunity to grow closer to him and to grow closer to his people. So just lifting up praise and thanksgiving to him. Number two, we're going to pray that Holy Spirit really prepare the heart of each and every retreat attendee in this last week. We have one more week left into the churchwide retreat. Let's pray right now that the Holy Spirit prepare the hearts of each and every person who will be attending. 
Number three, let's pray anointing over all the speakers and over the praise teams, the small groups, the transportation, over all the administrative details. And lastly, we're going to pray for, over ourselves that we'll commit to being even more prayerful during this last week leading up to the retreat. And then once we are at the retreat, we'll be fully present and we're going to really steward all the wisdom and revelation and glory that God releases. Okay, so I'll pray first. And as soon as I finish praying, you, just, you guys just pick up the baton and you pray as well. Lord, finally, I thank you for allowing me to be a part of the upcoming churchwide retreat. I declare that you are already readying the hearts of each and every retreat attendee. I pray that you remove all barriers and distractions. I come against all attacks of the evil one in Jesus' name. I pray your grace and anointing marking every part of the preparation and execution. I pray that you bless the speakers with powerful and precise words. God, that you will anoint the praise teams with throne room worship, God. I pray that each and every small group and room assignment will have your fingerprints all over it, God. I release your protection and your speed over all transportation details and wisdom and joy over all administrative details. And God, as an up-and-coming leader, God, as a new recruit, God, I commit to being even more prayerful and intentional this upcoming week. I declare that I shall powerfully steward all the fruit of the upcoming retreat, and I declare that my Christian walk will never be the same. In Jesus' name, I declare all these things. Let's pray together right now for the church ride retreat. Just open up your hands to receive, whether you're in this place or whether you are joining us via video. And it's just a closing prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for each and every new recruit in this place. I thank you, God, for each and every new recruit that is joining us via video, God. And I thank you, Lord, that you're always increasing in glory. You're always increasing in glory, God. And I thank you that there's a greater measure of glory that is going to mark this class of new recruits, God. Greater level of breakthrough, God. Greater level of transformation, greater level of faithfulness and stewardship, oh Lord Jesus. I declare that out of this class of new recruits will come out, Lord, pillars of this community, pillars of this community, God. Future leaders, God. Lord, leaders of community groups, leaders of missions teams, God. Maybe even intern pastors and preachers, God. Lord, I release greater vision right now over all the new recruits in Jesus' name. I thank you, God. I thank you, oh Lord Jesus, that truly the power that rose Jesus Christ from the dead, that it resides in each and every one of us here, God. I thank you that New Philadelphia Church, God, is a ministry marked with your fire, with your passion, and with your love. And I declare that each of these new recruits will be carriers of this fire and passion and love, God. I release grace upon grace, grace upon grace. This is a class of overcomers, God. Overcomers, overcomers. They are triumphant in you, God. Triumphant in you, God. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. But I thank you that you're lifting them up to greater levels of glory, God. We thank you so much, God. We thank you so much, Lord. We lift up NRTC, this entire leadership season, leadership training season to you. God, we lift up the retreat to you. God, have your way. Be exalted and glorified. 
we thank you so much and we love you Jesus in your name we pray all these things and all God's people said amen, amen. Woo. Lord, we thank you so much that you have given us your Holy Spirit. You have given us fearlessness. You have given us abundance and provision for everything that we need. We thank you, God, that the Spirit 
of the sovereign Lord is upon us. And you're sending us out, Lord God, to do what only can be done through the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, that you set us apart to do these good works, to do it, Lord God, not as just an act of obedience, not just an act of duty, Lord God, but as an act of love. I pray, God, that as we do all these things and as we ask for more of your Holy Spirit to empower us to move on forward, I pray, God, that we would keep our eyes fixed on you. Lord God, that we would see an army, not just of warriors, but also of worshipers and lovers, people, Lord God, that are moved by your Holy Spirit and moved by love. We thank you, God, that this is who you've called us to be. This is who you've anointed us to be. We thank you, God, that this is what your word promises we are. We thank you, God, for everything that you have done in our lives. I pray, God, that you would be over us and your grace would be thick over us, Lord God, as we finish up this NRTC process, Lord God, that it would be a joy, it would be a delight, Lord God, that you would take us, Lord God, further than we'd ever gone before, that you would set us on fire, Lord God, for the things that are on your heart, Lord God, may we see leaders rising up with your heart. We thank you, God. We love you. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, we pray that you were blessed and that this was an integral part of your, um, your training. That as a church, we want to see leaders that not, are, not just are knowledgeable in all the things that you are listening to and hearing about on teaching. Uh, but also that you carry the Holy Spirit with you, that you are leaders that know how to pray, know how to abide in God's presence, know how to love God fully. Uh, and this is our heart uh, for the NRTC class. We pray that you are all really getting blessed by all the teachings, by all the different assignments that you have, that you would go strong, that you would not be discouraged. Um, and this is something that I just felt on my heart as well. If there's um, any of you uh, that are struggling with different things and this, there's no need to be uh, ashamed of this or embarrassed of this but often what happens is people that are going through the NRTC process they feel attacked in different ways that they haven't experienced before uh, they feel that the enemy has up their uh, you know tactics against them and if that is you I encourage you to just stick around and there's a couple of us you know um, Lisa will be here myself I'll be here uh, Tammy as well she'll be here we're open to um, just praying for you if you need prayer otherwise we'll see you guys next week next week we have a watch on Tuesday evening Wednesday morning and then at the retreat we have two devotional watches on Saturday morning and Sunday morning as well so we hope to see you guys at one of those have a wonderful night and hope you are blessed Thank you.